You're listening to Brainwork Framework, a business and marketing podcast brought to you by focus-biz.com. With us today is a very special guest, Afi Bell from Breaking the Cocoon. She is the founder, a motivational speaker, a tutor, counselor, and epilepsy advocate. And today we're so excited to have her on. Afi, thanks so much for joining us. How are you today? Mm, hey, I'm all excited, man. Summertime, going to be darker and having a great, great time. Enjoying that is, <laughs> that is what it's all about, soaking up the sun rays in the summertime. Now, you are an epilepsy advocate. Tell me more about your journey. When did this happen? How have you been living with it? And tell us this history. Oh, man. I've been going through mine since I was a teenager. A lot of times, all of us with epilepsy, it's not our fault. It just comes on because we're completely unconscious when we have our seizures. There's nothing about any triggers or anything. We're just simply hmm, got something in the brain that all the epileptologists are trying to figure out. Like, hmm, where is this going to happen or how can we stop this? So I'm just looking at it like I'm breaking out of the cocoon, just like that caterpillar. I'm becoming the huge, huge butterfly like Harriet Tubman. Julius Caesar, Prince, Flojo, Socrates, Daddy Glover, all had epilepsy just like me. And yes, 95% of you all don't know how there's 40 types of seizures. So do you see how you guys all accept cancer, diabetes, and AIDS people? Why can't all of us with epilepsy get the same acceptance, get the same love to come out to us? It tends to be like two to three minutes and we're just unconscious even though our eyes open and haze. <laughs> and I think there's 40 types because the one that Prince had and Socrates and Julius Caesar, they had theirs when they were baby. And theirs would just stand up and their eyes haze and can't do a move or anything. They're just unconscious with a haze eyes for two to three minutes versus mine, complex partial seizures where I'll do all kind of twists and turns. And I'll do all these moves for a couple of minutes and I'm just in a different you know spot if you guys know anything about Los Angeles think about La Cienega and Obama Boulevard right there waiting on my ride and the next thing I know I cross the street I'm inside of Target I'm like how did I cross the street what happened I'm like oh well, I must have just had a seizure I go back over to the metro spot I'm at waiting and my purse my water bottle everything is sitting there waiting on me and I just stay safe. And I'm just like amazed how the Lord just wants me. happily shine off that, yes, I've got all the loving strength that I'm gaining from this tremendously. And let me just exhibit because the same way Danny Glover and Harry Tubman had theirs. Harry Tubman didn't get hers. She got raped because there was an injury in her brain. So it's just all the different reasons. But hey, hey, you just... Free your mind, the rest will follow. I love the energy and it, it's such an interesting history. And for those who don't understand what it is and, and how it happens, you mentioned there's 40 different types. And I love the positivity that you bring because it's not the cards that you're dealt, but how you play them. So you're just keeping positive, staying with your journey and just saying, I'm dealing with it. Other people have dealt with it. Famous people have dealt with it, but it's just something that you want to stay positive on. Why do you like to focus on the positive there? How are you so happy? I think people are looking to unlock some of their own happiness. How do you do it? No, it's just life. You got to enjoy your life. And hello, the rest of you guys, my BMW is better than y'all. Bike, metro, and walking is keeping my body toned and is keeping me all excited and energized because I don't have to figure anything out. The Lord just keeps me shining that, why don't you just keep fine-tuning your body. Let me just show you that whole step and you see how you'll just enjoy this whole ex with me and you'll just have a humongous thing to exhibit later. I'm like, oh my God. I love the energy. Enjoy, now, um, enjoy your life. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, on your YouTube channel, you, you kind of break down some of the important topics that should be known when it comes to epilepsy. And there's five important steps that you cover. Can you go what those are? And, and what it should mean? Well, remember the word steps. That's why I showed you the steps. Because <laughs> the S is means you safe. You keep our area safe. Because as the 40 types, I'm the one who walks around versus another one. Those famous people talk about grandma seizures. Where people fall, shake, and might hit their head. They just keep the area safe where they're not going to be injuring themselves. And T is just the time. Because any seizure five minutes and under is not an emergency. So mm -mm, we don't want you calling 911. 
<laughs> that is not helping. That's a big old fee that we don't need to play. And then E is encourage us because we have no clue we're un- unconscious. But if you can try to get our attention, try to see if you can ask us those detailed questions. Don't ask our name because apparently if you ask the baby questions, your subconscious mind can still respond. But say, oh, I, what's your favorite movie? Or what's your favorite trip? Or what would you like to make for dinner tonight? You know, make us think about something, you know, and come up with anything, any strategy. And then P is just pay attention because remember, we're unconscious. So when you're paying attention, we would love for you to videotape or just keep a little record because S means share. You're sharing all of those details just to us when we come back to ourselves. That way we're on the same page and we'll be able to put down that one in our my seizure diary so we'll be able to send it over to our epitologist. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for sharing those tips with me. And along the way, you answered a question I had while you were speaking about it. And that was what the everyday person can do to help or assist with someone with epilepsy, knowing that under five minutes is not serious. When is it okay to ask for more advanced medical advice and just things that we can do to assist you know, to make things easier for you. Right, because when you're encouraging them, asking us those questions, that's the whole thing, you know, ask, hmm, who should I be calling for right now? So I would be telling you to look for the medical ID bracelet. This is the medical ID bracelet. I wear both of them. And then that's where you can get the actual number. You'll see the emergency contact over there when you flip, and you'll be able to call that person versus calling 911 because you have my dad's number right there online. So you can just call my dad and you know, explain to you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Now, everything that you're doing, you know, the advocacy, you're trying to educate people and just drive awareness to this. Um, how have the responses been? Are people encouraging? Are they appreciating the conversation and the information that you're sharing? Well, some people, I mean, I have a small number of people who are continually coming and checking things out like, oh, OK, well, I think I want that. So I'm looking for the stronger support group because anybody else who's going through epilepsy, remember, that's the title right there. Living Free with Epilepsy is where you check us out on YouTube. And we can just go over there and just all connect so much more and just have that encouragement for each other. And it's just that some folks mm -hmm, just have their different angles, just only want to share what they've been through and then go away because that's more like what the folks do on Facebook and so forth. But it just takes time to build the relationship so hey hey let me just see how i can just get get each person to feel good and come on come on just join me and let's see how we can work all this out we can just have fun events and we can just shine off that the joy is our strength and we're not going to let anything bother us we're going to just exhibit relax and free your mind the rest will follow now on your youtube channel i love that you're focusing more on the conversation and the community. It's important to bring all those things together in order to engage in, you know, meaningful dialogue about these more sensitive or unknown topics that people may consider to be taboo. And you publish or do you go live every Tuesday and Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? Hmm. Right, every Tuesday and Thursday. Exactly. Just trying to get the folks to see that, hello, <laughs> we're all here. And we just want to get you all to work with us. Come on, share. <laughs> so just when you're open to share the story, that's why you can just respond there and um, hit that one. And we'll be able to contact you and get to your contact. And so we can just get in cl- closer relationships. We can get more folks to see that, oh, we're all supportive of each other all the time. And then see how we can meet in person if you're definitely in the Southern California area. That's wonderful. And do you offer more online or digital consults? So you can expand your reach, you know, throughout the United States beyond just your local area, or do you kind of focus more on your local scene? It's online, so we definitely just do that for the contacting and so forth. I'm just talking about the events for other angles, but whatever, I'm looking to go to D.C. as well in a little while, so we can still have the um, Play Amusements Recreations Tune Staying Young party. We're going to party and get all the fun back. Just shine off how we get high just by drinking the water. Because here is my water bottle, and there's the RNS device they put in my brain. The brain surgery has that a magnet in there, and I can go into any big event, in any big arena. I watch the Clippers and the Lakers all the time, and none of them have any problem with me walking into my water because I'm just mm-hmm, overcoming my epilepsy, and who cares? 
be like, okay, let me make sure that you're safe. Okay, come on in here. So, hey. Nice. And I really know that people love these live demonstrations, the live webinars as a means to learn more about a topic that they're interested in. So when you're doing outreach or you're trying to post this online, letting people know you offer this free workshop or a webinar, people are really drawn to that because you're actually able to engage one-on-one. -on -one. You can learn more about the topic and it's from someone coming with experience in that particular topic. And I love that you made this your life's mission. You know, it's not only handling it yourself, but you want to put it out there to the world too. And I love that. I appreciate it. Teamwork makes the dream work so they can have their testimony. You know, we just uplift the vibe when more people talk. I'm so grateful. When two weeks ago, that other lady talked about her daughter with focal seizures. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I wasn't much aware of that one. But I'm just like, oh, that's right. That's kind of like the simple partial one. But hey, we've all got different ones. And it's great to understand the other angles that look out for it. Are there other either epilepsy advocates or educational materials just that have benefited you as an individual, as a person? Are there any books, YouTube creators or podcasts that you've really fallen in love with and have inspired you and you want to share with the audience? Oh, well, I definitely became the author. <laughs> Viviendo libre con epilepsia. Because Espanol, mi pasión también. But it is in both, because this book here is in English and in Spanish. It's on the graph, yeah. And it's yeah. in my site, Breaking the Cocoon, and it's on Amazon. So you just go over there and you can see the story about Prince Harriet Tubman, and Socrates, and Flojo was in here also. It's like, hey, hey, let's just get all of that one. But you're going to get a little bit about my story too, since I was a teenager and now all of us, we know you got to know to be up front with the guys when you're going to go out on your date. <laughs> so you're going to see the true and reality stories and how we all handle these things because it's not hard at all. So we just all relax on sharing the reality and the true story. Mm -hmm. You can see the differences and so forth. And you see how this is when I had my brain surgery five years ago. I was just so grateful because it's completely opposite of what I expected. I thought I was going to be praying my butt up to get here to come back fast. <laughs> but the Lord knows that I just want attention. So all the guys started running up to me when I have no hair. Oh, you look so good with no hair. I'm like, oh, for real? Yeah. New secret unlocked. You just figured something out. You're like, what was this the entire time? That's amazing. Oh, I was living like you guys for three years. I didn't have to touch nothing. And I could just jump in the pool and don't think about it. I was loving that. That's fantastic. And for those who are interested in the book, in the YouTube, and also getting connected on the website, we'll have links available down in the description and the show notes so you can get easy access to the website, the YouTube, and the book. Now, is there any other piece of advice that you'd love to share with our audience, with our listeners, something that has impacted you, some sort of motivational quote or something that people should take with them after listening to this episode? The whole thing is to free your mind. The rest will follow. You see, I live on that one. Our mentality is about what we accept in our hearts, what we accept what other people are saying. And when you don't accept it, because I don't take a lot of other medicine. Because mm -hmm, none of this medicine has helped. So when you see about people talking about, oh, I have a headache and I need to have Tylenol or all of us females got brainwashed that we have to have the menstrual cramps and everything. And uh -uh, mm -mm, I don't even take any Tylenol. So it's just all about what you're accepting. And when you just go and free your mind, I just walk and do my personal meditation walk and enjoying myself and singing. And while I'm doing all of that, it just keeps me stronger, keeps my body toned, and just gets the uplifting vibe going around. It just it feels wonderful. It just uplifts and more people are seeing it. So come on, what can you do? What can you do to free your mind? What can you do to keep that joyful energy and keep the youthfulness? Because I'm keeping youthfulness all over me. I'm making sure. I'm making sure. I love it. It's motivational and it's catchy. Free your mind. It's going to be stuck in my head all day. And I'm going to be so positive after thinking about it each and every time. I love it. Afi Bell, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time. Make sure you check out the show notes here to get in touch. Okay. I look forward to those details. Let me make sure I chat on those that website for you. Thank you so much. <laughs>